Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mike's Garage. Today I'm going to go over how to rebuild the lower cage on your 0304 Cobra. Now this isn't a complete rebuild. This is only to replace the three rubber bushings if they happen to go bad. So as you can see in front, I've got my 2003 lower cage. And the bushings look like that they're in good shape, but actually they're not. Because you can move the lower pulley in and out pretty easily. There's a little bit of slop in there. And also, if you hold on to the pulley and then also where it connects to the uh, harmonic balancer and try to twist a little bit, there is some play. My concern was, if I was to put this on a new engine and I have everything all set up, would I run into issues, you know, a thousand miles later, 5,000, what have you? And, and I really only want to put on good parts, things that I can stand behind. So I thought I'd rebuild this. And as you can see, right next to this photo is a rubber bushing uh, material that I picked up. And I'm going to leave the details at the bottom of the video. And I came across this idea from a gentleman that... Uh, had posted and done the same thing in the SVT forums. So I'll post that as well. First thing that you need to do is either completely take apart the lower cage and remove the uh, the triangle looking piece. It's kind of brass looking that's in the front. Um, some people have taken it apart and they've had success. Others have tried to take it apart and uh, they ran into challenges and actually had problems putting it back together. So I followed the original post and what I basically did was I used my uh, grinder that's pictured here. Um, I used one bit to take away the majority of the material and then the uh, sandpaper uh, bit to smooth it up. That way there weren't any burrs that would catch on the, uh, on the new rubber piece as it was uh, inserted. So I did that. Um, first remove the old bushings of course that was a little bit of a pain used a little bit of WD-40 used a pick used a flathead screwdriver got it removed so now with having um, all of the bushings removed and also uh, grinding out that outer lip that you can see in the photo I then had to uh, cut the bushings to the same size as the original ones now, I ended up going a little bit longer, in which, in hindsight, I should have just done the original height. Um, but cut them up. Tried to use uh, this little cutting wheel that's, that's pictured here, and that really didn't work too well. So then I um, had another, uh, another piece that can cut much larger material, and it worked great. You could see it in the photo. Not the best picture of it, but... You know, it, it, it cut, it worked quite well, so was happy with that. Once you have it cut into the correct sizes, you have to press, press in the new bushing. And I thought, okay, well, I've got a few different C-clamps. I've got this uh, old uh, valve spring compressor. Let me, let me try this. Let me try a few different things. And that really didn't work out too well. So then went over to good old Harbor Freight. And I believe I picked this one up on clearance for a little over $80. It is a, uh, I believe it's a six-ton press. And um, it worked perfect. Now, to make it a little bit easier with driving these in, you can see with the bushing that um, I put it on my belt sander and was able to chamfer it a little bit. And that made it easier to guide in. And once it's in, it's an extremely tight fit. Here's the completed uh, product, and you can see that it sticks out a little bit. Um, I may have to trim a little bit more, but it's looking really good right now. And then fi uh, finally, uh, this is just a little short clip of me spinning it, and uh, Baby Groot is, is holding it up. But as I, uh, as I spin it, you can see that the pulley makes no noise besides the, the typical you know, normal bearing noise, and um, there's no wobble, both on the pulley and also where it connects to the harmonic balancer. So this should be good to go, and I think it will last uh, quite a long time um, because the material is actually harder than the original 
um, uh, rubber bushings that went in. And after it's pressed in, you really can't budget. I mean, it's a very tight fit. So I call this a success for rebuilding the lower cage. Obviously, if the, uh, the bearing uh, assembly was bad, I wouldn't be able to do this. And, and if, if that happened, I probably wouldn't have rebuilt it because, like I said, it's a bear to fully take apart and, and potentially put it back together. It's been done, but, you know, it's, it's rather difficult. So anyways, so that's the completed product. So once again, thank you for watching Mike's Garage. And uh, uh, please check out my other videos if you haven't done so. And please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you.